Hello my friends! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I'm super stoked about this video. It has been a long time coming. I started working on this project over a month ago. I'm actually still not 100% done with it. I haven't done the final testing of it. However, it's pretty much done, so I'm gonna go ahead and start up this video and hopefully by the time I finish editing it, I will have finished and been able to get the footage of it working. So let's basically jump in. Today when I'm filming this intro, it's October 7th, so I've completed this project just in time for the cold season, which is ironic because I'm gonna have to figure out another way to shower, but I might still find a way to make this useful. It's not totally cold where I am yet, so it's still might be a little useful. We'll see. Uh, I had so much fun building this solar shower and I'm really excited because at the end of the day, I think it cost me about 100 maybe $150 honestly because I messed up quite a few times and had to buy new pipes um, <laughs> or new, new pieces and that includes the spigot, the fittings, the paint, the tubes, the PVC cement, the hose straps, the little foam pieces that I use. You'll see what I'm talking about. But with all of that, it cost me, I think, about $150. And there are solar showers like this on the market. And I think the cheapest one that I found was $300. And this works just as well. So I'm pretty stoked. And I'm really excited to share it with you. So let's jump in. First, I used a hole saw to drill out a hole in the cap of the solar shower. So this is going to be on the end that's pointing off the back of the van. The hole saw that I had was just a little bit smaller than the piece I wanted to fit in it, so I used a Dremel after that to kind of shave that out. I don't recommend this unless you're using a different style Dremel, which I will show you later on in my second attempt, because surprise, surprise, things did not go exactly to plan the first time around. So I highly recommend you watch this video all the way through if you want to learn how to do this the way that I did it successfully. As you can see, the hole is not perfect, but the fitting fit and I ended up going over any of those holes with a marine grade sealant. After that I went in with some Teflon tape. Make sure you go with the threads that you are wrapping and then I hooked the spigot to that. After that I just attached everything using PVC cement and some marine grade sealant. Unfortunately I accidentally lost the footage of this particular piece but don't worry you will see me fitting things together many many times in this video. After that I got to work on what would be the other end of the water tank which would be closer up to the passenger side seat in the front of the van. But what you see me doing here is connecting this elbow piece to a smaller piece which has threads in it so that I can thread a cap on that I can take on and off but it will be watertight. Once the glue is on, you wanna make sure that you are pressing those pieces into each other really tightly for about 30 seconds, just to make sure it adheres. This stuff dries super fast, so you wanna make sure it is in exactly the right position before this, because even after a couple of seconds of putting them together, you won't be able to move it if it's in the wrong place. I bought a pipe that was 10 feet long and five inches in diameter. I cut that down to about six feet, and then I went ahead and connected the elbow piece to the end of the PVC. of the cap at the other side, the one with the spigot, and then I went ahead and cemented that one on as well. <music> Lastly, I just went around all of the seams with the marine grade sealant just to add another layer of protection. This stuff is super sticky though, so be really careful when you're using it because it's, it's pretty nasty if you get it on your skin. After I let that cure for one day, I went ahead and laid it out so that I could spray paint it black. The reason that I decided to go with PVC piping instead of ABS piping, which is already black, is because I found out that ABS piping has BPA in it, and I'm just not stoked on that. 
So I went with the PVC piping and painted it black and it works for me. Rigging this thing to the top of my van was something that I didn't think about until the moment before I did it, mostly because I knew it was going to be an issue and it was going to be challenging, and I didn't want that to stop me from building it in the first place. So when I went to the hardware store and the clerk told me, you should just use these really hefty zip ties, that'll totally work, I went for it. And I have to tell you that I did not drive this even a mile away from the house where I was working on this because it did not feel safe to me. It may have been, but I just was not convinced. So I just want to tell you off the bat that I did not stick with this and I don't recommend that you attach it this way. There's a better way, which I will show you at the end of the video. So originally I had the inlet on the back of the water tank, but I realized that that wasn't going to be very efficient or effective because I was going to have to climb up onto the top of the van every time I wanted to fill it up. And so I decided I needed to have an inlet and an outlet both on the back of the van so I could do that quickly and easily. So I went ahead and drilled a couple more holes in here with my hole saw. In the first attempt, obviously one of the big issues was that there was no pressure in the tank allowing the water to flow out smoothly, so I also added a Schrader valve this time around. Okay, so here we go again. I'm gonna give you a hint here that maybe third time is the charm, not second time. So this hole ended up being just a little bit too big for this piece, but I thought, you know what, it'll be fine. I'll just use the marine adhesive, which I used before, and that was fine to hold all the water. I just, I really wanted this to work, and so I went for it. I went ahead and put the sealant on it as well, and then lastly, I attached the new cap to the main water tank and let this cure overnight. After a fresh coat of black paint, I was feeling so stoked about the potential of this water tank and I was not thinking about the fact that I didn't feel confident about the spigot. I just, I was so excited, I wanted this to work so badly and unfortunately, this is what I got. 
was obviously a dripping problem and one of the main spots was the spigot. I accidentally threaded across the plastic threads and so the metal spigot wouldn't go on straight. It was a little bit crooked and then on top of that, the marine adhesive, it didn't seem like it was going to hold and I just didn't want to take a chance with that when I pressurized it. So I decided to rip it off and start again. Welcome back! It's been two months since I started this project, but I'm going to finish it tonight. So, enjoy. So I bought a four pack of these foam cushions, which are made for surfboards. You put them on roof racks and then you can strap down your surfboard or whatever you're strapping down and it won't be touching the actual bars. So I cut out a U-shape so that the PVC pipe had a place to sit. Here's a little hack. In order to get that U-shape perfect, I went ahead and used the pipe at an angle and pressed it into the foam and made an indent where I wanted to cut it out. That way, when I was using the serrated knife to cut out the foam, I had a line to follow and I knew it was going to be pretty exact. And cue the dramatic lighting shift. You probably could have guessed it, but I didn't finish on this night, but I did pick this up the next day. I went ahead and glued these together using super glue. It was just what I had on hand and it seems to have worked perfectly. So I called a bike shop that's right down the street from me to see if they had a pressurizer that they would be okay with me using because I know that they usually do for bikes and stuff. I was a little concerned that because it's not for a bike they would be like, no, what are you talking about? But the guy was actually really cool and said that that was no problem as long as it had a good valve and it's a Schrader valve so it's no problem. Uh, so I just pulled up here. I don't know if I'll be able to record it, but I'll try if possible. Otherwise, I will show you the final result soon. Maybe just a little bit more and we'll see. Okay, okay. That 
that your shower? Yeah. That's sweet setup. That's pretty cool. Thank you. That's yeah. Before. It's super cool. Okay, sorry for that horrible footage, but we got it pressurized and I'm gonna wait and let it heat up and hopefully this thing works. Fingers crossed. I'm stoked. I don't know. That didn't really feel that extreme. No! Oh. Yeah, pressure went out. Did pressure went out yeah, yesterday? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh! Okay, well. Do you have like a shower? Rain. Okay, this is progress. But I'm not happy with it. So. No. Boy, I'm not. Yeah, you're not content with it. Yes. I'm, I'm happy with the progress, but. You gotta see it a little better. Yeah. All right, we're heading to the gas station to get air in the water tank and hopefully for the last time try it and have it work, hopefully. So here we go. That's actually great. 